here's the best advice in the world you ever get. <laughs> Completely stop looking at that. Okay. <laughs> this is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. It's people that just really, really need help. And if I just ignore them, then I'm basically turning my back on the industry. And the whole reason I'm doing this is to, is to increase the industry. And so it was a decision I had to make. How am I gonna do this? I don't have time. Well, yeah, I do. I can carve out an extra hour every morning from 4.30 to 5.30 to answer those DMs. So it was literally out of necessity, but it ended up being something more than that because like you say, my personal life, you know, just getting up that early and it, I love it. I love getting up that early. Um, now I get up and actually feed my daughter before I start answering the DMs and get my wife, uh, let her sleep, and then I put her back to sleep, answer the DMs, and I go to the gym. And that's my morning routine right now. Hi, Ricky. Um, so inspired by you, I started my email list. Uh, I had a goal before uh, 2020 to start it. I now have 350 contacts in there. Uh, my question to you is, I have a 50% click-through rate. Is that good, or should I tweak some things? Uh, what's a good click-through rate, open rate? What, what have you been seeing? Um, here's the best advice in the world you ever get. <laughs> Completely stop looking at that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. With open rates, everybody's concerned about open rates and click-through rates and da-da-da-da. The thing is, is that most of the people on your database that aren't opening it up right now, that are part of the percentage that aren't opening it, are going to start opening it when they become interested in two and a half years. Then they're going to start opening it because now they're interested in doing something. They're going to open it for about two months straight before calling you. And so they're not even open. Your best client isn't even opening it up right now. Right. So why are we worried about open rates? It's not the open rates. Here's what's the most important thing to me. The impression that they saw it in their inbox every Wednesday. They didn't open it, but they saw your name in their inbox consistently every single time. That's what means the most to me. It's the same thing with social media. I didn't get enough likes, but how many impressions did you get? You got, you know, a thousand impressions. You got, you know, four likes, but a thousand people actually saw you're doing an open house. That means something. Just because they didn't double tap doesn't mean they didn't see it and they know that you're out there working. We got to start valuing impressions just as much or more as the open rate. I don't look at my open rate. I don't care if people unsubscribe. I don't care about any of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, hi, uh, my name is Greg, Janty Douglas Allen. So you get up at 4.30 yes, sir. every morning. Yes, sir. What time do you go to bed? About 10. Yeah. yeah. That's my question. Yeah. About 10 o'clock. I don't really go to bed. I'm more kind of pass out kind of deal. <laughs> What is the content that you have in your email each week? Let's see, where can I start where I left off with you? You know, I got the, a link that goes to the past two weeks of new listings. So people that go there, they can always keep up with the new listings. Boom, that's very valuable right then and there. Then you got the, the uh, closed sales, a uh, place where they can search property. Then you got I got links where people can go and see everything on the market, different subdivisions and stuff. But as far as the content I change out, like this week was, today was my day, and I did um, stats. It was condo market stats for the year 2019, the whole year, and December, the month of December. We get those stats from a college close to us, and they send it to us, so it came out like three or four days ago. And every time it comes out once a month, uh, once every Actually, yeah, it's every month. I'll use that information, you know, and kind of use that as, as kind of, so I have links and this is what the prices did, this is what, you know, inventory is doing and stuff like that. Informational, statistical type of uh, uh, email. Last week, um, I forgot what it was, but I'm sure it was like a, a, an article, you know, something happening in the area. The week before was like a new development that got approved. It's like a half a billion dollar development. You know, it's just breaking news type things. You mix it up, put some market stats in there, do a little self-promotion every now and again. Say, hey, I sold this house, you know, in three days and stuff like that. But don't do too heavy of self-promotion. We're not there to self-promote. We're there to bring value and to bring information to them. But just follow my emails. You know, just follow and watch them every week. You can go to my Facebook page and scroll back and look at all of them from the past. 
you know, just scroll back and just click on them and get ideas. Like you, I used to wake up like at four in the morning after reading the morning, the book, but um, like, like you, I have a new father, and uh, for, he's a seven month year old, and I find it challenging year year old. taking care of him at the same time while following the routine. So that kind of throws it off. How do you find challenges being the father? I love challenges, and there were a couple of times where I couldn't put her back to sleep, you know, and I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to, you know, wake my wife up either. And so I stayed with her, didn't go to the gym. What did I do? I just went to the gym midday, you know? I'm not gonna miss that gym session at this point in my life. Like if I quit going to the gym, guys, it's gonna look wild up here. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I got a pro I got a problem with food. You feel me? <laughs> so you understand what I'm saying? You just go with it, man. You don't you don't let it hold you back. You but you take that time for yourself. You see what I'm saying? When I go to the gym, I got my headphones in, and it's just like I don't care if my phone that this is my time. I'm gonna enjoy this. You know what I mean? I'm gonna give three words answers for three questions. All right, go. How's Red X? Love it. <laughs> Rentals. What about them? Do you do, you do them? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What do you eat? Nope. All the time. <laughs> I like that one, and I will leave it with that. How you guys can help me, literally, is just to take something, just one piece of what I'm doing, and just get out there and succeed.